We're speaking now with uh, John Hart, head football coach at uh, number three, Warren Central in Class 5A, coach now in your second year. Before we get into the ball game this Saturday, first of all, how cool is it to see Evansville Wrights back in the state uh, game after you won a championship there back in 2007? You know, because of that, you're going to be considered now one of the best coaches in the state because you've led two different programs to the promised land. Well, I don't, I don't deserve that. I, I, I know we're playing against an icon in, in Coach Moriarty, but uh, I, I couldn't be happier about Wrights. I, I, I love those people. Uh, uh, the kids that are seniors are all my son's best friends. And, uh, you know, I, I went to the East Central game and I got more hugs than I've, I've ever had in my life. And uh, uh, it was a very mutual thing. So it's uh, – I, I can't think of a cooler thing. My wife said it after the sectional game. She goes, she goes, boy, what if we both get to state? How cool will that be? And I said, well, I, I, I can't imagine it getting much better than that. Warren 12-2, and two, only losses came back to uh, two of the state's best teams, the Cathedral and Carmel. When you look back on that game with Carmel, what were some things that just didn't go right that night? Well, we had we I think we had six turnovers in that ball game. I think three interceptions and three fumbles. Uh, you know, a, a couple of the interceptions we threw were kind of hell mary parts. But you, you're not going to win ball games with six turnovers. I I think I seen this on an NFL game last night while we were up watching film that if you if you have a three plus turnover ratio in the NFL, you're 29 and 0. And uh, and I'm sure that would equate to the same thing in high school football. So we've got to win that. We've got to we've got to take care of the ball. But they're great at stripping it too. So I mean they're you know, they're really, really good at that part of it. Yeah, Carmel has played for a state title four years running. Uh, they were devastated last year by uh, Center Grove. You know they're going to be hungry for another title. You know they're going to be well coached. Are you expressing that fact to your team? Are, are you aware of that? Or are you afraid that uh, Carmel might be uh, looking to take, uh, what am I trying to say here, take, take out their revenge on Warren Central? You know, our kids have been so focused and, and, and so committed to each other. Uh, if we win or lose the football game, it'll be us doing it. It won't be what Carmel or Center Grove or Franklin Central or anybody else in between does to us. Uh, these kids, these kids have really bonded together. They they believe in one mission, and uh, uh, you know I feel confident. And, and again, I, I feel a little more comfortable with us being the team that got beat the first time. I think it is very difficult to beat a team twice. With that being said, are you prepared to put in a couple of new wrinkles that uh, Carmel hasn't seen? You know, they're very familiar with you. You know them very well, being that you play in the same conference. Well, I could have kicked myself a little bit earlier in the playoffs for getting really, really conservative offensively. And and I really kind of held down the two people that, that make the spread go, and that was Nick Hart, our offense coordinator, and Derek Hart, our quarterback. When we're in the spread, we're a dynamic offensive team, and we really were a dynamic office, offensive team most of the year. And I got conservative in the playoffs, and it about cost us a couple ball games. So, uh, you know, the nice thing about the spread is there are a lot of things people haven't seen. I mean, the spread is a very – diverse offense and it's really a lot what the defense does to you that, that allows you to manip manipulate them so uh, uh, I look forward to it I, I think we are a lot better offensive team what we were then but defensively is where we've gotten a lot better. Hey, Derek Hart, Shakir Bell, Indiana Mr. Football candidate are those guys healthy how's the healthier team? You know, we're as healthy as we've ever been. I, and I was telling uh, Coach Delahan, I, I've never seen a team at this point of the season be this healthy. And, and we went through some pretty major injuries. Uh, you know, Elijah Jones uh, broke, his, broke his hand, had two screws put in his hand and played a week later. Uh, and, boy, last week did he look tremendous. So, I mean, he's really getting healthy. And Shakir's got his cast off. So uh, I, I think we're really healthy at this point. You made the great point when we talked a couple of weeks ago. Every time your team or the program has won a regional, you've gone on to win the uh, state championship. So, so to speak, you've got this thing in the bag. Well, I, I hope that makes it me a profit there. So, so I would love that to be the point. Uh, I also know, you know, we would kind of go back and revisit the, the getting, you know, beat twice. That, that's, that's a pretty tough piece, and I, I think that's a commonality there too. If, I, if that's a word, I'm not for sure. But uh, uh, I, I really look, I, I look forward to this ball game because it does give us a lot of challenges. And, and really, when, when, they, when they kick off the ball, uh, what's happened prior is not going to mean anything to either team, whether it be Carmel, whether they've been up here four times and, and have, aren't happy with the amount of wins they've gotten up here, or whether it's us who's won it four out of the last six years. John Hart, head football coach at Warren Central. Best of luck on Saturday. Thank you.